Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the team. My name is Bertrand. I'm original vice president with the company, meaning that I got started just like you as a regular agent about a year and two months ago. I took the business serious. I worked hard. I learned the process. You know, I watched the training videos and I've been able to learn how to do the business and became very successful in the company. Made over a six figure, make, make over, make a six figure income my first year in the company. So if I can do this, you can do it as well. I'm only 25 years old, 25 years old, eight years in the country. I don't speak the best English. You can tell by my accent. So if I can do this, you can do this as well. I'm just going to break down when you bring you the first step. What do you need to do to launch your business to get it going for yourself? All right. So pay attention with me. I'm about to dive right into the information. Let's get it started. OK, so uh, just give me a second. Let me move this, move this to the side. Uh, so you guys can see, and uh, I'm going to hide this. All right, cool, cool. And we're going to go ahead. Wow. So when you bring new, you're supposed to get the, get the launch document. This is the launch form. What do I mean by that? When you bring new, you're supposed to print out those two documents, okay? We have one like this, uh, and we have one like that as well. Uh, there's different documents that different team use. But as a brand new agent, you want to either print it out or if you got your agent signed up, you need to go ahead and, and print it out and, and set up a meetup um, with that agent within 48 hours, 24 to 72 hours since that new person got started with your team so you can launch that business. If you don't launch that business within 72 hours, they lost the excitement and boom, they're out. You can't really get them to do anything anything and they don't see no results and the person signed up nothing happened okay now once they print out the documents you link up with them or you do a zoom the very first step to do at the top of the page is to show them where to get their username and have them write it down we have a video that explains where to get that from but this is the very first step then you need to activate your services when you bring you because as an agent if you want to fix your credit as well you got to activate your services or you're not going to get the credit repair aspect of the business maybe uh you don't need to fix your credit you need the life insurance or other services that we offer then you need to go ahead and take care of that then we also have training videos that break down how to how to do the business this is the very first mistakes a lot of people do you get started with the business you don't watch the training you don't take this serious you need to watch the training videos. When I got started, you know, I watched every training videos I could put my hands on because I wanted to learn from the people that's making the money I wanted to make in the business. Then you need to save your enrollment links, which is something that we're going to show you on a, a, a training video we had prior to that. We show you where is the enrollment links, which link to use, okay? Now, you got to join the Facebook group. Whoever got you started should be able to show you how to join the Facebook group. We also have a Telegram group where you can download the, the Telegram app and get added to the Telegram group. We also have a Creole team. Maybe you can get added to the Creole team on WhatsApp if you're part of uh, the organization. Or we have one in Spanish as well. If you, have, if, if you need help with that, just ask. Somebody can add you to the Spanish group because we have a team in Spanish on Telegram, okay, which is an app where you can have all the team come together. When you need information, you can just go in the group and ask for the information and they keep you updated whenever there's a training or presentation happening in the team, okay? Now, your username is very important. I'll show you, uh, we have a training that I'll show you where to get that from. But initially your username will be the very first letter of your first name and the last name. Uh, there's a video that I explained that. Uh, I already break that down. Uh, to you guys, let's move forward. Now you need to start with your reason why. When you get started in the business, why do you want to do this business? Is it just to make some extra income? If that's that's why, break it down. What does making extra income mean to you? You know, an extra two thousand a month, three thousand. What what can that do for you? Right. Be be very precise why you want to do the business because that's what's gonna keep you going, motivate you because you brand you never done this before. You might feel like giving up. OK, when I first started, my reason why, first of all, was because my credit was bad. I wanted to fix my credit. And because of this company, my credit is called being able to get fixed. Right. And I also wanted to make enough income so I could walk away from my full time job. And I did walk away from my full time job 
and make enough income. That was my second reason why. Third reason why for me, right? It was because I wanted to change my car. My car, I had gotten, my mom had gotten into a car accident with my car. So my car was broken. It was too color. The door was a different color and the rest of the body of the car was a different color. So I wanted to change my car uh, because, you know, obviously I was 24 years old. You know, I wanted to drive a better car. And because of this company, I've been able to get uh, my credit fix and make enough income. Uh, now I'm driving a nice car paid for by the company. OK, the car is being paid by the company what I'm driving right now. Then long term, I'll say four or five years from now, I want I want to retire my mom and my dad, but buy them a house and set up some business for them and then set up my family for, for success, right? That's my long-term goal. I've been able to see uh, a lot of people done that, you know, Coach Legend, Valeski Barosi, Alfred Nixon, a lot of top leaders, Mike Burgos, they've been able to make enough income to retire their, their parents. So that's one of my goals as well, to make enough income where I can retire my parents, okay? Then once you write down your first three to four goals, uh, this is this will motivate you, okay? You don't write it down because of me. Write it down because of you. Maybe it's your kids that mot motivate you. Maybe you want to leave your full-time job. Maybe you want to uh, vacate the country, be able to travel around. Maybe you want to invest into something. That's what's going to motivate you to do the business when it's hard. Then uh, you need to set up your 30-day goal. In 30 days, right, why do you want... Uh, how much money do you want to make in 30 days? Is it about, let's say, uh, from 500 to 2,000 dollars? How much you want to make in 30 days from the day that you start doing the business, right? You could make a lot more. There's people that come here the first 30 days. I make 5,000, 10,000, or even more. But let's let's keep it just um, let's keep it simple, right? Let's keep it uh, simple. From 500 to 2,000, how much do you want to make? OK, me, my first month, I was about to make about, I'll say, 19 or 1800 dollars, my first 30 days in the business. So your first 30 days based on your schedule, right at your job or the activities you have going on, based on your work ethic, uh, you know, based on, uh, how, you know, how much you want this, how hard, how hard you want this, how much you want to do this, you know, how much you want to make within your first 30 days. Is it 500? Is it 2000? Just select your number, pick your number. Don't select a number because of me, just pick your numbers and go for it. Now, how many hours per week can you dedicate to do this business so you can make the amount of money that you selected you want to make your first 30 days? Because this is a business. This is not a get rich quick scam. Don't think you get started here. You don't put some times in and then boom, money just going to fall off the sky. You got to invest some time into the business. You feel me? Just like your job. You know, you put 40 hours a week in order for you to get paid. So it's the same thing in this business. How many hours can you spare a week to do the business? Maybe it's 20 hours a week, 30 hours a week. Maybe you can only do this business five days a week and then like four hours a day, three hours a day. Then pick it, 15 hours, 20 hours. You know that's the time you're going to be dedicated to do the business and take this serious on a part-time basis, okay? Now, um, I already tell you this will keep you going when you feel down. And then I explained to you to set up your goals, how much money you want to make, your 30-day goal. That's very important. You want to write that down on the piece of paper that you have in your hand right now. Remember, very important, you have a notebook to take some notes, okay, when you first started, okay? Now, uh, I already told you about your income goals. Uh, you write it down. This is very important. Don't do mental notes. You got to write it down. Now, uh, how do you get promoted in this business? What is the first step? You need to hit the first level. The very first promotion in the company is called field trainer. How do you attend that? To become a field trainer in the company, right? You technically need to get your very, very, very first uh, two enrollment. You need two agents that sign up underneath you, okay? If you're looking at the screen right now, I'm going to show you what do I mean by that? So to become a field trainer, which is the very first position in the company, you need to enroll two agents. Two person need to sign up under you that decided they're going to do the business with you. Two agents, right? You call a friend, a family member, two person gets started with you. That's the minimum requirement to become a, a field trainer, to get your very first title in the company. And this is the, the most important one, okay? Now, you need uh, 1,600 
and revenue and sales and grow value to hit the title. You need two things, structure. Structure is how many agents you need under you or how many agents in your team that you need to hit a certain title in order for you to hit your title. Volume is how much sales, group volume is how much sales your business is doing in total, right? How, many, how much revenue that you bring to the company in total. You need those two things to hit your promotion and the company, whatever promotion you need to hit. But the very first one, which is Phil Trainer, you only need two agents and you need 1600 in group value. How do you break it down? Let's say any new agent that you bring on board, any person that signed up to do the business with you as an agent, as a business partner, it will equal to 400 in sales and revenue and group value, meaning each one brand new agents, 400 in group value. Any new customer you sign up, each new customer, 200 in group value. Okay, now let's say you need this is you right here, you brand new, and because it's a group volume, it is not a team or personal volume, it's a group. So, your volume included as well. If you're a brand new agent that just started in the cycle of the business, right, you equal 400 in group volume yourself. Now, that says you need two agents that sign up under you. Let's say you bring one person to become an agent that gives you an extra 400. Right now, your 400, because you're brand new agents, plus that new agent 400, give you 800 so far, right? Then you, let's say you need a second agent, right? You bring another agent, two agents, right? You bring a second one that gives you an extra 400. Now, you do have the structure. You got the two personally sponsored, meaning two person that personally signed up under you. You got those two. Now, let's say you need 1,600 in group volume. Since each brand new agency called 400, let's do the math and see how much you got in total. Your 400 plus the new agent 400, that give you 800, plus the second new agent 400, that give you a total of what? 1,200. Let's say you need 1,600. So how much are you missing? You are missing an extra 400. So it can hit your title on the company. Even though you got the structure, you're missing the group volume, the revenue, the sales. It has to be 1600 so it can get your promotion. Now, what can you do? You can either bring what? Two new customer, because each customer gives you an extra 200. So if you do one new customer, 200 extra, you already had 1,200, that give you 1,400, plus a second customer, that give you another 200, that give you the 1,600, since you already got the two agents, which is the structure, two person sign up directly under you, and then you got the two customers that make up for the volume you was missing to be 1,600. When you do the total math, it equals to what? 1,600. Then you become a field trainer, you get your first title in the company, congratulations. The second way you can do it, it does not have to be two customer or the two customers don't have to be directly under you. It could be someone in your team that brought the two customers as long as the customer is part of your team through you or someone else in your team, another agent that has signed up under you. When they do the total math, if you equal 1600, then boom, you get the promotion. Now, your other option, you could have just bring what? Instead of bringing two customers, you could have bring a third agent. If you bring three agents in total, that give you the minimum two agents you need and the total of 1,600 in group volume that you need to your title. Agent number one, give you 400. Two, give you 400. Agent number three, give you 400, including your own 400 because you're brand new agents, give you a total of 1,600. That makes you 1,600 in total. You hit your title, all right? So structure is the person you need to sign up directly under you or the person that's under you that you need to hit their titles in order for you to reach your title volume group volume it's how much sales how much revenue your business is bringing in and that tells you if every new agent equal 400 in group value every new customer that signed up equal 200 in group value right but what i like to do i like to push for three agents and two customers this is what i like to do reason why is because you offer do what that tells you to do. It will help you set up for the next promotion. So my my uh, advice to anyone that's watching this, instead of doing the bare minimum, actually bring three agents and two customers. This will set you for success in the company, right? Because you'll make more money. Then you also will get your services for free. You'll be set up for the next promotion. What do I mean by that? Let me move to the next slides. So the company says, Let's say this is you. The, the, the minute you got five enrollments in total, your $89 per month to stay in the program, it's waived. So 
The minute you get five enrollment, service is free. So what you can do, you can either bring two agents and three customers that give you five in total. You could have bring five customers straight up that would give you five. You could have bring five agents straight up or you make a mix of both agent and customers. But I usually, I push my people to get three agents and two customers. Not only you hit your title, this is setting you up for your next promotion so you can make more money, right? And also you get services for free because you have the five, which is the strive for five. You get five enrollment, your services is free. Make sense? Boom, no more 89 per month. It is wave, it is free. Now, there is a bonus the company will pay you as you enroll new agents. Okay, let me break it down real quick. A new agent in this company, as a new agent, right, they're going to pay you a bonus. When you brought those three agents, there's something you get paid for those new agents. The company, when you, in the first level, which is agents, they pay you a bonus, which is $100 per new agent that you bring on board in the business. Now, what the company does, they don't pay you the full $100 when you bring in new agents because if you get paid a full $100, you're not gonna wanna work with that new agent to show them the way because you already got paid. Some people would not do it, but the company does it a way it benefits you and the new agents. Instead of giving you the, the full $100 upfront, they give you only $40 when you set up a new agent in the business. Now, the minute you help that new agent get the very first two customers, customers up without want to fix their credit. The company says the minute you show them how to get two customers and they successfully enroll to customers, either through you by helping them or someone else help them, they release the remaining, which is the $60 you get paid because that new agents successfully enroll their first two customers and they got about 70 days to get it done. So it's a total of $100 you get paid per new agent that's signed up in your team. Now, because you had signed up three agents, you get that done. That's $300 extra you make. That's $300 you make. And then guess what? You pay two a year to get started. You're already in profit modes. Plus the two clients you sign up, you get paid for those clients as well. Now, as you get that done, you level up, you become a field trainer, you're going to get paid more. You get a raise. When you set up a new person in the company, instead of paying you only $100, they give you a raise of $60. You get paid $160. So when you, sign up somebody, when you sign somebody up in the business, they'll pay you upfront $60 if you're looking at the screen. They pay you the remaining, which is $100. When you help the person get their first two customers, you get the remaining, which is $100. That makes you a total of 160. Now, as a senior field trainer, they're gonna pay you a lot more. You get a bigger raise. At my job, I had to wait a year to get a, a raise of 25 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents. Here in this business, you go out there, you do the work, the system update, you get your promotion. Does that matter your skin color? Does that matter where you come from? You get it done, you get promoted. Once you become a senior field trainer, meaning that you have two people hit the first title, which is field trainer, by doing so, by helping somebody else get promoted to field trainer, by getting two of them get promoted to field trainers, you become a senior field trainer. Now you get paid 240 per person that you enroll directly through you. Now, let's say as a senior field trainer, you sign somebody up, they pay you 90 up front. The minute you have the person get the first two customers within the two months time frame you have to get it done, they pay you the remaining, which is $150. That's that's a total of 240. So as a senior field trainer, you get 240 per person you enroll. Now, when you become a sales director, you get paid 380 per person you bring in the business personally. All right. Now the company don't pay you the whole 380. They pay you 140 when you sign somebody up. Once you have the person get the first two customers, they pay you the remaining, which is 240. That's the total of 380. Just think about it. You sign up five people for the month. That's five times 380. You make what? You make $1,900 for the month. Now, you're going to get paid override bonuses as well. Override bonuses when your team set up other agents in the business. Let's say, for example, you had set up five people in the system as a sales director. This five times 380, you make 1900 Now, those five people, your job is to help them sign up their first three agents. Let's say you help all of them set up their first three agents. Five times three, that gives you a total of what? That gives you 15 new agents. Now, did you know all those new agents? No, your team bring them on board. This is why this makes sense. It's not going to be a you effort to bring everyone by yourself, but you bring five, you work You work with them, help them bring their own three. It gives you 15 people brand new that you probably never met or you didn't even know them. But what's going to happen is 
because it's five new agents you have brought on board. They were only at the level of agents. If you look at the very first level agents, they get paid a hundred, a hundred dollars per person they bring them on board. So what you're going to do, because they don't want that, bring them on, but it makes sense. They get paid something, which is a hundred dollars. You're going to remove that $100 out of your 380, you're supposed to get paid per person that set up in the business. Because as the leader that start building the business, whoever that's having your business, if you're a sales director, you're supposed to get paid 380. But you're going to get paid a difference in position. If the person is the agent, you remove that 100 out of your 380. If they're a field trainer, you remove that 160 out of your 380. If they're senior field trainer, you remove that 240 out of your 380 whenever they set up a new agent. But for that example, they were only agents. They brought they brought 15 in total. Five brought three each, 15. You move that 100 out of your 380. You are left with 280 per agent. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to do the 15 new agents that signed up, right? You're going to do 15 new agents. You didn't bring them the five brought three each. Time, the 280, because you removed that 100, they got to get paid 100 out of your 380. All right? So, you are left with $4,200. That's what you make by helping those five people brought three agents each. They get promoted, they get paid, and you get paid as well. So per month as a sales director, if you get to that level in the company, you can make the $4,200 by helping five people brought their own three agents. Plus, remember when you brought the five agents times 380, that, that had give you $1,900 plus the $1,900, you make a total of $6,100 as a sales director in the company. So the company pays a lot of money, does a lot of money to make. Let's move forward now, okay? So as you get level up, you get paid more. So your job is to make a list. You need to make a list, a contact list, up to 20 contacts, bare minimum, right? 20 contacts, 20 names. But I'll tell somebody, you know what? Do more than 20. If you can, go ahead and push yourself. You know, get your notebook, get a white paper, write down the names, drag your memory, you know? Put more than 50 to 100 people on your list because the more names you have, the more people you can reach out, the more people you can expose to the business, the more people will enroll to become an agent or a customer. Now, why do we need you to make uh, the list? Now, this business, you got to go ahead and do a grand opening. You got to promote your business. Nobody will know you help fix credit or you have an opportunity for them to make extra income because they didn't know. You don't walk around with a sign in your forehead. So you got to tell them that. So what you do, you have a grand opening so you can promote your business. Any businesses that do marketing, that promote their business. Even when there's a new baby, they do a baby shower to announce the baby. So you need to, to schedule a meeting to announce that you're doing this business, to expose people to the business, to see what you're doing. Now, when you're doing the list, what you do, you jog your memory. If you can't remember 20 people top of your head or 50 or 100, you just go through your phone, go through your contacts and then scroll down and say, who's this person? Who's that person? They don't need to be close friends. They don't need to be close family members. Just add their name down. Okay. Why? It could be a coworker. It could be an old classmate, a, a current classmate. It could be a manager you had. It could be the, the guy that filed your taxes, the person you bought your car from. You could be a, a neighbor. It could be somebody you run into at the grocery store. Maybe someone on Facebook, Instagram that usually like your picture or talk to you. You write down their name because those are the people you're going to target to expose to the business, right? Now, once you do the list, you put the top 10 first. Top 10 is people that's business-minded. They're looking for something to do. They are business-oriented. They're going to take this serious. Like the first 10 people you think about, man, if I can get those people in, man, I'm set. I'm going to make a lot of money in this business. Those are the first 10 people you want to add. Then add everybody else. That might not going to be the right person for it. You already think about it. Just add their name so we can share the information because you never know what somebody going through where they can see this platform. They're like, man, I was praying for an opportunity and they took a serious, they changed their life around. Or maybe that person is not going to be the one doing it because you expose them. They connect you to a friend or family member that said, man, I knew someone that was doing something similar. I think they'll be good at this business. And they connect you to that person and then boom, that person take the business and run with it. That's it. Every duck knows stud. So once you got your list ready, you're ready to go, right? You write it down. Make sure you write it down. Don't do a mental list. Oh, yeah, I know the person. 
no, nah, no, nah, you're not going to go far in this business. You got to go ahead and write it down. Write down the names. Get your notebook, your pen. Uh, write it down the list of the paper. Write down on the sheet of paper the list, the name of other people, okay? So now once you talk to someone, you can go ahead and check it and say, I talked to that person or I have an appointment set up with that person to meet with them and show them the business or you invite them to take a look at the business, okay? Now, uh, already tells you what to do and that motivate people, influential people, coachable, okay? Then be list everyone else, all right? Do not prejudge. So what we're going to do, we're going to go around and ask them if they want to see the business, just like a flight attendant. The flight attendant through the airplane, they just push that little, that little cart. They're like, sir, do you want juice, coffee, water? If the person say yes, they offer them the water. If they say juice, they give them the juice. If they say no, they keep pushing the cart to the next person. Why? They don't force nobody. So if a flight attendant would have tried to force me, so you sure you don't want no water? I'll be like, what is wrong with this lady? Do you put something in the water? You try to poison me? Same thing with this business. Don't force nobody to do this business because they're going to feel pressure. They're not going to want to talk to you. They're going to be like, hey, it's one of those things you try to pressure me, force me to do, to do this with you. No, you just share the information. They decide if they want to do it or not. You follow up with them, okay? So it's the same thing. You're going to, do you want to do this business? You want to make money? Fix your credit. Or maybe both. Fix your credit and make money. The person will tell you yes or no. Whatever the answer is, You, if it's yes, you enroll them. If, if it's no, you keep it moving. Next person, or you ask them for a referral, you give them something to post on their Facebook, Instagram, send you a few referral names so you can keep doing your business, okay? Now, the grand opinion, you got to set up a date. If you sign up today, tomorrow, or that same day later on in the evening, you set it up for maybe uh, 7.30, 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m., whenever we have a webinar happening or whenever your mentor is able to come and show up and do a presentation in your living room. So you could invite the people to come through and he does the presentation in your living room or maybe at a Starbucks, you invite five people somewhere and then they come, your mentor come, the person that got you started and they do a presentation for you. You select the day and the time. Now, don't worry about the day at a time, the people will not be available. Typically, we do it around 7 p.m., 8 p.m., because this is the time people will be available coming from work. Now, you need to have a fallback date. If they can participate that day, the exact date you select the first date, you have a second date, you say, okay, what about tomorrow, okay, instead of the time. Now, it's very simple. You just use the script. I use the script. I make a lot of money in this business. I just ask them, hey, how you doing? Whatever the person name, hey, what's your, whatever the person name, how you doing? You pause, let them answer, and say, I only got a minute, okay? So this is how you do this. You don't go ahead and spit everything. Oh, I got started with this business that fixed credit. You can make money. Somebody bring somebody. No, it's too much information. They're going to get skeptical. They think it's a scam. They're not going to get started. They're going to say no before they even see the information. So your approach has to be different. You got to be like, hey, whatever the person name, how you doing? I only got a minute. So you let them know you don't have a lot of time so they don't start talking about everything else with you. You ask them, what are you doing day and time? The day and time you selected to do the presentation or invite them to one of the webinar or to link up with you so you can show them the business, right? And they say, I'm free. You keep going with your script. They say they're not free. You say, can you make yourself available for 30 minutes? It's very important. They say they can. You keep going with the script. They say they cannot. You say, what about tomorrow, same time? They say they cannot. You say, okay, I got something very important to tell you. I'll call you back. I'll keep you in mind. I'll let you know. Boom, you hang up. You follow up with them tomorrow or later on. Don't say nothing if they're not available. Don't invite nothing. Don't say nothing about the business if they are not available. Now, if they're available or you tell them, can you make yourself available? Can you cancel? They say, yes, I could cancel. I could make myself available for 30 minutes for you. Now you say, I know you have always been looking for other ways to make extra income. If I find a way for us to be in a better financial position this year by improving our credit score and make extra, extra money, would you like to know more about it? They say yes, okay, then boom. You go ahead, you say, okay, great. We're having a webinar day and time. You to break down the information and answer any questions you have. You may have, I'll text you the link. You send them the link. Or you say, okay, great. We got to get together for 20 minutes day and time. You, you say, I'll text you the address, right? Now, if they say, what is this about? It's one of those things. Nah, man, it's not one of those things, man. You know me, I would get myself in something wrong. Trust me, dog. Just, we just got to link up. So they say, tell me a little bit more about it, man. It deals, uh, it helps, it deals with helping you improving your credit score and put yourself in a better position to make extra income. That's what it's, it, it's about. It's about improving your credit score and make extra income. Now the person thinking, maybe you want you want us to fix our credit and then we invest, we, we get a loan, we buy a property. 
right? That's what's going to come in the person's mind. And this is why you go that way. Okay. So whatever they say, don't try to explain the business over the phone because you're going to overwhelm them. They will not get started. They'll feel like this is too much. You feel me? So they need to see the business the same way you send the business through a presentation. Okay. Where you can either send them a video and invite them to a webinar or to get together. Okay. Now, once you already cleared their schedule, they can't back out of it. You say, what are you doing? They say they're free. Now they can't back out of it. It's, they already cleared their schedule. So you just got to go ahead and invite them and confirm with them. Now, once you're confirming, how you confirm? To confirm with them, you say, don't cancel on me before you end the call. This is, this is how you confirm with them because uh, that's what you got to over invite because whatever you, you're doing, even if it's a party or event, if you invite 50 people, 10, 15 people will show up. If you invite 100 people, maybe 50, 40, 30 people will show up. That's just a numbers game. At the very last time, somebody will tell you, I got busy, car accident, tire, flat tire, baby, I got no babysitter, which is normal. It's part of the game, okay? Any events you're doing, any link up, any invitation you're having, uh, a few people coming through, some people will cancel on you. Some people won't be able to make it. So don't get frustrated. It's part of the game. It's a numbers game. Just keep going through it and follow up with that person. That don't mean the person's not interesting. It's just that something came up, okay? And you just follow up with them when uh, it's time for the webinar. Now, um, let me go ahead and um, let me go ahead. One second, let me go ahead and show you the script that we have. This is another script that we have that you can use. This is how it works, pretty simple. Uh, if you're looking right now, I'll tell the person, hey, how you doing? I'll pause, wait for him to answer. I say, I only have a minute. What are you doing day and time? They, I clear their schedule first. I ask them how they're doing. I don't say nothing about the business yet. Now, if they're going to be busy, I see they can make themselves available for 30 minutes day and time. It's very important. It's not being rude, it's very important. Now, if they're not free, tell them, what about tomorrow? Same time, if they're still busy, uh, say you call them back and get off the phone so they don't ask you a thousand questions and then now you don't know what to say, you panic, you're frustrated. Now, if they ask you a question um, or they say they're free, you move forward, you say, I need your opinion on something. Okay, the fact that you ask somebody their opinion, um, that it's no pressure. You're not telling them to invest, to pay nothing, to start nothing. It's free, it's just opinion, right? So that's the best way to invite somebody. Now you ask them, if you had an opportunity to increase your credit score at potentially no cost and make some additional income, would you be willing to take a look at it? You see how you invite them? No pressure. So someone that's older than you, that's making more money than you, right? Or maybe someone that, you look up to, man, um, I know that you're very smart. I know that you're a businessman. I know that you you went to school, you graduate, your college with your degree, your master. Um, look, man, I need your opinion on something before I go ahead and, and make a move and spend some money. If you had an opportunity to increase your, your, your credit score, right? Right here, your credit score, I potentially no cost and make some additional income, would you be willing to take a look at it? They say, yeah, for sure. Okay, great. We're having a webinar tonight, day and time to break down the information and answer any question you may have. I'll text you the link. Do not cancel on me. Or if you're going to link up with them, you say, I'll text you the address. Man, do not cancel on me. This is important. If that's your friend, man, I know you. Man, this is not one of those things. Do not cancel on me. This is very important. Now, you write down the piece of paper. You're supposed to meet with that person. Are they supposed to show up to the webinar? All you got to do is call them, send them the information, make sure that they know how to use Zoom, all right? And then you call them an hour prior, two day, two hours prior. In the morning, you remind them of the webinar, and then you make sure they get on the webinar so they can see the presentation. Or you send them a video. You say, okay, we have a pre-recorded webinar. If they are not available around that time, whatever time you try that doesn't work for them, you could send one of the presentation video to them that's either in English, Spanish, or Creole, whatever the language the person speaks, okay? This is another way you could... Uh, invite people very smooth you can invite a lot of people it's pretty much the same thing but bear with me hey uh how you doing you wait for the person the person say i'm doing great it doesn't it does not matter if you didn't talk to the person a year two years you know a couple of days a week and then you tell the person i only have a minute what are you doing the time 
I only have a minute that let them that let them know this is not a typical conversation, so they don't talk too much, right? You're not gonna stand the phone too long with them, and they don't end up staying on the phone with you too long and ask you a lot of questions and you don't know what to say. You ask them what they're doing, you clear their schedule so they cannot back out of it because they already say they're available. If they're gonna be the same thing, you ask them, can you make yourself available? Can you cancel? It's not to be rude, it's to level to to raise the importance of what you are about to offer them, what you are about to ask them. That means it's very important. So they're like, okay, that gotta be important. They're gonna make themselves themselves available. Maybe they're going to the gym. Maybe they're gonna watch TV, right? So they could make themselves available for 30 minutes to be there to listen to what you gotta say. Now, if they're not free, you ask them tomorrow, same time. And if they're not, you just like, they can't, they can't make it. Well, I call you back. You know, I keep up with you. You just write down, I got to follow up with that person. Then if they are free or they say, yeah, I can make myself available, next. I need your opinion on something. I met the successful entrepreneur, okay? So you ask them, asking them for an opinion. They're more open to take a look at it. If you use that approach, you have so many people coming to take a look at the business, okay? And then you have success if you follow the step I'm showing you right now. The step I'm showing you right now. I need your opinion on something. I met a successful entrepreneur and I'm looking to get into business with him or her, but I wanted to take, I wanted you to take a look at what he or she does and give me your honest opinion before I make a move, before I make any move, right? Now the person will be like, yeah, man, you're my cousin, you're my brother, you're my friend. Yeah, for sure. You're my coworker. I'll take a look at it. I'll tell you what I think about it, you know, because they're thinking you're about to invest some money. You're about to make some big move, which is true. You're about to make some big move with the business, right? This business make, I make a lot of money in this business. Now, if they ask question, this is what you say, okay? It deals with helping people fix their credit and open up your own business, okay? Then... Don't try to explain everything. Just stop and say, what we're going to do tomorrow, since we already scheduled that, tomorrow we're having a webinar or tomorrow we're going to link up, whatever works for you, right? Link up with them at a Starbucks in your living room or invite them to a webinar because, you know, COVID-19. Okay, great. We're having a webinar tonight or tomorrow, whatever the day and time, to break down the information and answer any questions you may have. I'll text you the link. Do not cancel on me. Before you hang up, you got to let the person know this is very important, man. Do not cancel on me. This is how you confirm with them. Then you write down your piece of paper. You're supposed to meet with that person that in time or they're supposed to watch the webinar or you're supposed to send them a video to watch and then you follow up through your list, through your list, through your list. You keep going through it, okay? So this is how you launch your business effectively so you can start enrolling your first agent or customer, okay? Now you have people that end up being uh, getting started to become an agent or a customer right away or they don't have the money yet you still work with them like they have the money and you you will have success with this business okay now anybody that gets started take this serious uh watch this information or maybe you can share with somebody that got started in your team and when i first started i'm telling you my first week i had over 200 names i spent night watching trading videos i spent day and night, I'm calling people, I'm inviting people, I meet up with so many people, I was just presenting the business, sending videos so they can watch a presentation, so I could collect decision. Does that matter if the person signed up or not? I was asking for referrals, I was taking so much actions, right? I was doing this like, yo, I need to become successful, right? That was, that was like, you know, I gotta make this happen for me. My first month, over 27 people, 30 people signed up, and I work with them, the team, Du duplicate right it, it just keep triple numbers triple quadruple more people coming in and that's how we take off now we have a team over 2500 people within my first year in the business i make a six figure income you can do this too just follow the step that i just show you and you gotta role play with someone first before you call anybody so you don't panic and what you do you keep the script in front of you because the person over the line, they don't know you or using the script. So you keep the script off in front of you and then using the script to invite somebody. Okay. Keep the script in front of you and role play with someone first, your cousin, the person that got, got you started in the biz, one of your, your mom, your dad, role play with someone, get comfortable, right? First, 
then you go ahead and start making the calls, inviting people to take a look at the business, taking actions. You make a lot of money in this business. Let's launch your business so you can have success. I hope this was helpful. If you have some questions, feel free to contact the person that shared this video with you so we can help you move forward in this business and uh, move forward and, and do well and uh, make a lot of money in this business, okay? Um, so goodbye. I appreciate you paying attention and watch this video.